Now I got up real early this morning, because we basically have a ton of stuff to do today. Mark's going to be coming by later this afternoon or tonight when he gets out of work. We're going to try to set the final decals on this, and that'll allow us then to get ready for a final day of clear. Glenn's packing up his stuff. We have a windshield to install. We're going to show our very excellent way of installing a windshield on a fairing that doesn't have the holes drilled yet. We're going to try to buff out some or all of the parts with Glenn's real high-tech buffing uh, machine that he has. And if we do run out of things to do, or in the next couple days, we'll pull the tires on here and start painting the wheels. But the first thing this morning, I wanted to get a start on. These mirrors have been drying up by the heating vent overnight, and they're probably ready for some buffing out. Now, it looks like the paint dried up nice, but I always like that final buffed out finish, that's for sure. And one thing we surely don't like is flat black. We, we just like to eliminate flat black out of my life. Now, while I'm waiting for Glenn to get here, I figured I'd just get a little bit of work done on these mirrors. I do my little paint test first thing. What we're going to use, well, actually, what Glenn and I are going to use all day is the 2000 grit Indasa Portuguese sandpaper. I want to do a test to see if the paint, now this is this is really less than 24 hours, but it's been up by a heating vent. If the paint is hard, what will happen, pretty easy to figure this out, you just do one little test like this. If the paint's not ready, we'll put it back up by the heating vent for the rest of the day. But if it's ready, I can get this buffed out, get some of it buffed out before Glenn gets here, because what I'm trying to do is leapfrog several projects all at the same time. And these mirrors, as, as insignificant as a part as this might be of the bike, every little bit on that bike helps. Because it does, there were, at the very beginning, a lot of flat black parts. And one by one, as I've turned them into shiny black parts, I've liked the look at a bike, which of course is always subjective anyway. Maybe there's a world of people, especially young people, that uh, I'm not sure. But I know what I like. At my age, I know what I like. Good pizza. Now, let me just show this. This Now we're going to get to this where it's... Let me move the camera a little bit so we're out here. Okay, this paint flattened right out. But you can see up here, there's still a couple little, like I'll call moon craters, dots. Well, we want the whole thing to look like this before we even try to buff it. If it's got any of those little spots in it, we're just going to keep sanding it. We want that to be perfectly flat before I ever even touch this with rubbing compound or buffing compound. Now, a real good trick using this sandpaper, which is, I think, really the best I've used. As I'm doing one little spot here, I'm using my fingertips here because it's, this, this part has a constant curve to it. Your fingertips seem to be the, the most nimble at doing this. I'm trying to do... I'm trying to avoid the corners. I don't want to break through on a corner, even though this part has a lot of paint on it. I shouldn't. With 2,000 grit paper, that shouldn't happen. But as I'm working on this, I do one little facet at a time. Now, I've heard, I've heard a lot of people, even some of the people on the internet that really, they're, they're professional and been doing this maybe longer than I have say that you could sand in this direction and then at 90 degrees and it would make the buffing go a lot quicker well I don't know because the buffing the buffing of the part is the easiest part of all it's the sanding that seems to take the time now when Glenn is here and Glenn's got the big heavy-duty buffer that uh, that he's comfortable using I kind of like the little one and on a little part like this I think the little one will be our best friend now let's just see how this is, as this comes together, let me get that piece of, just dry it up. Once we get that flat, there's a part that isn't flat. Once that's flat, the buffing part of that is going to be a piece of cake. So what I'll do is just basically one facet at a time, almost like cutting a diamond. So I, oh, hello. Hello, hello, my name is Glenn Hansen. Would Thanks you like to join us in the kitchen today. <laughs> 
Yeah, put your apron on. Today we're going to make a turkey. <laughs> you, you are a turkey. I am a turkey. <laughs> you am a turkey. Turkeys are us. <laughs> turkeys are us. So listen, this, is, this was a little tips that may help you if you have a, when you have a monumental big project to do, I always start with the smallest part first. The reason for that is we have a long race today. We don't want to run out of gas in the first hour or two. I mean, you know, Glenn is a big, strong bodybuilding. He, he's, he's as strong as they body get. Body broken or body broken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so anyway, and I'm showing him, start with the smallest part, work it down, candle, can it candle it up. It. Yeah, candle it up that you can see that it's flat, it's shiny, it's flat. When it's all flat, put it aside and take the next biggest part. But it's not going to go in five minutes. What, where you get frustrated is if you think it's going to take five minutes and you start thinking, I'm done. am I done yet? Am I? You know, it's like when kids go on a ride with the parents, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And you're not even out of the driveway. Yeah. Anyway, Mark's thing is all, now you can imagine how many hours of sanding I have into this. Look, the whole thing is flat. Glenn's going to get some religion here, seeing, especially this part, a lot of work. But we'll see, we'll see Mark tonight. We'll just have to double the price. Oh, he's going to love it. Oh, I'm sure he will. But anyway, I would never want to start with the biggest part. That's always a problem. I always like to start with the little, the small part. I'm working on a mirror while he's working on this. We want to get this. We're hopefully going to get everything buffed out by to, time to have a bagel. To anybody that cares, I mean, the, the, the camera doesn't do this justice. You really... Oh, no. They're no. going to have to see it in person. No, you got to see looks, it, yeah. Oh, you're going to see it because at the end of the day, it's it's sunny out. We'll go put it out in the sun. All right. Okay, you got it all nice and flat now? Pretty good. All right. Remember up here, there was a big spot of Bondo yeah. I had to fix. Yep. That isn't showing. No, not, not at all. Not at all. That'll buff out like a absolute mirror. Yeah, you'll looks be so, really good. You'll be so impressed. Okay, now take the second biggest part. Yep. I'm guessing the gas tank would be your next victim. I am going to do um, the gas tank. Just lay that out there because we'll do all the buffing at once. I actually have one mirror done. He we had a race and he won. We got one mirror ready for buffing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna race the gas tank against the mirror. I think I think I got less surface I think area. Got, I think you got me. <laughs> now, just you want to get over the decal real nice and yep. flat. Run your finger on it. You can't even feel can't where feel it is. It. Can't feel anything. Same of thing it. on you. Just be nope. careful. Don't don't grind away at no it. No gorilla. Just get it flat. No gorilla, right. That'll be our motto today. No gorilla. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Yeah, that tank is going to, that's going to be spectacular. I can't wait to put it out in the sun. Oh, hello. Welcome hello. back to the kitchen. Welcome back. We're now cooking bananas on the, uh, in the microwave. <laughs> no, but for St no gorillas. Stacy blew up the microwave. She put some popcorn or something in there and it blew the microwave. Was it metal in there? That's yeah. Right. All she heard was boom and all yep. this stuff. Uh, we don't do that here. Anyway, another thing I want to show you, after all this sanding, we're still only into one piece of sand. Well, I'm on the second piece because I'm lazy, but we I cut this much sandpaper up, to, which is actually two sheets. Looks like we're going to get the whole, for definitely get the whole bike done. Okay. I did Mark's whole bike with two sheets. Nice. Hey, this stuff works. Now, normally well. with the other paper, that'd be 10 sheets. Well, you 20. know, with the other paper, the, the, the grit seems to, once it gets it wet, goes away. it seems to fall off. No, this is nice stuff, isn't it? It's beautiful. No, it works really well. Okay, you're about one third through the race here, baby. That's sanded out. This, all this back area, the seat covers, you don't have to do that. That sanded out beautifully. Wow. You just want to look for a couple of little high spots. No, just keep picking away at it. And wherever these wherever these stripes are, do all the sanding this way. Now, I can't even feel this now, so you must have done a good job. Yeah, I did these. And when you buff it, it'll be even better. Let me just feel. No, this feels Do great. it by feel. No, you got that nail. That's great. beautiful. Yep. That is the funniest, part of the, the funniest part of the day. Karen's leaving us alone. She's got to go do her thing. And Glenn has already got... He's dialing up 1-800-STRIPPERS. They're on their <laughs> What's They're on their wrong way. with this picture? There's no, nothing's going to happen. See, See you later, behave, baby. Behave yourself. See, behave us. No, I said to Glenn to behave. Oh, I almost, throw my back out. I almost kissed Glenn by mistake. I'll throw my back out, dialing the number. 1-800-STRIPPERS. <laughs> right, let's see how this is working out now. Wait, we got this guy. We're two, we're two out of four here, but the World Series is four games. Unfortunately... <laughs> Yeah, that one's coming out nice. It just, really is. Just, hey, now that Karen's gone and the strippers are here and uh, we got pole dancers and Mark's in his underwear. <laughs> oh, all we need is Luciano with his Ducati underwear now. We're all set. I love this is the area you're going to see. Yeah, always focus on the areas that you really are going to see. 
you know, we're going to have to drill out for that windshield eventually. Mm -hmm. where, you, where your name is on it, you don't want to feel that yeah, if I got possible. Those pretty good. Be careful around here right. that you don't go through an nope. edge. Staying nice and flat. Got that one really good. Now, when you put this on the bike, if you can see inside, and I don't remember if you can, what you do, get a can of flat black barbecue paint. Spray it out of the can. Oh, you we don't have to. You got that flat black helmet paint. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that, the catalyzed, yeah. and do it with a brush. Okay. Because the brush will fill in all of these. Sure. And then from looking at the bike in the other way, it'll look a lot nicer. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. Okay, three out of four. Wow, we're on a roll. Yeah, we're rocking. Get that bad boy up here. I'll help you do it. The mirrors are done. They're ready for buffing. We're one, one part away from uh, perfection. the dance, the dance of the buffing wheel. I like watching you work. <laughs> I, now I know why I enjoy watching your videos. So. <laughs> yeah, because you're sitting on your fat ass doing. watching me work. <laughs> it's not me doing it. Everybody likes watching okay. me work. So we're on a, the last part. I appreciate the fact that you keep letting me sand while you film, and then when you put the camera down, you take over and That's do right. all the work. And yeah. I appreciate that. Well, you know. Let everybody think that I had a hand in it. You do have a hand in it. Well, listen, I, I'm trying to I'm going to it. play with the strippers now. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll be back. In two minutes. In, in one minute. In one minute. All right, now what we tried to do, I can't do it, I can't get the, the tripod in the right spot, but I was holding this end, and we were trying to sand this area, flip it, like a rotisserie, like they rotisserize a car. I mean, we got but, all the pieces, so I mean... But we're coming up, yeah. The, it, we're almost ready for buff time. We're, we're ready, and Glenn's got all that high-tech stuff out in the car, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Bubble gum and a rubber band. When you see this man's buffing wheel, he is... He's got ammo NYC buried in, in technology. <laughs> Again, I always start with the smallest part. Okay, you got your, your real nice machine. Now, he's, keep in mind, here's my stuff. I keep everything in a laundry basket, which Vince was all impressed when I was up by his house. I had a laundry basket of stuff. <laughs> Do my laundry, too, in that basket. Anyway, he's got a real nice, good quality buffer. This is not Harbor Freight. Porter cable. Porter cable's a good quality. Got the sticky back pad. I think I've had it for about all, 15 years now. He's got all his pads. I At don't know least. which one. I'm guessing if you went right to uh, your your finest product, this would buff right up. But you do the demo. These are all, let's see who makes these products. This is like Ammo NYC stuff where he, Adams. And we did, we've used this already. It's great stuff. It's nice stuff, yeah. Really good quality stuff. Nothing wrong with it, but okay. So, I mean, if I, if I were to take this uh, from a point where we needed to go one, two, and three with the most aggressive, right, like a 2,000 grit sandpaper, right. I would use number three, a swirl and haze remover, because I would say this is com comparable to a 2,000 grit sandpaper. But because we've already done the 2,000 grit, I'll use number two, which is probably a whole lot finer somewhere around the... Doesn't it have the grit on there? Uh, I don't think so. You know, all of the high-end products mark the grit. So it doesn't matter. Maybe, Maybe they're so high-end that they don't. It's not a high-end. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because if this stuff doesn't work the way you want, we'll use my cheap stuff. Yeah. The Harbor Freight stuff. No, this stuff works really good. I've no, I've seen you use this. Use this outlet here. This one here is, you're better off be popping a fuse here. If we run, we're going to run two buffers <laughs> later at the same time. So. so I got the pads separated. Waffle pads, okay. So I got, this is going to be pad number two. So it's used for, specifically for the second uh, in, in the line of three, right? Yeah, and you don't want to commingle the products because once you put rough grit on that, right. now you just it's turn now it a rough into, grit pad. Yeah. This is starting to sound too high tech for me. Nah, it's pretty okay. simple. I do what you do. No, it's... Totally. And there's a million ways, the most important thing to understand with buffing, there's a million ways to do it. You absolutely don't need any of this. You can do that right now. You could take this part and do it by hand with toothpaste. It would just take a long time. I'm just going to do the top here for a sec. Just do one spot to see how quick it's going to... Oh, that's going to come right up. Yeah. And I just... You know, the, the, the pads do tend to get a little brittle. 
and a little dry. So you just hit them with some of that uh, polish. Or... Now, when it comes to doing the part, the big parts, I'm gonna, I want to be able to hold the part. You're gonna have take to... those new mic. We got brand new microfibers over there by your wheels. Get the new microfiber. Take, grab one out. Now let's see what you got here. So you're on your way. That's the first step. And that's just a couple of seconds. Okay, now if you're really critical, you're really critical, what you're looking to do is get rid of the scratches. So when, when you go to a finer compound, and you've already got rid of them, you go to, like an example is if you were, they make the polish that I use, they make it just to get 1500 sanding grit scratches. But, but that takes a lot of material off. I'd rather use this soft material and just work more which is because you're not going to take off that whole last coat of clear right and we did put a lot of clear on here yeah just give it a shot and this will be a good part you can you can sit on a chair put that on your knee and just and buff mm -hmm. your knee out and your face and your now another thing i found any of these products it doesn't matter what you use if you put too much product on it's a lot worse than not enough So what we want to do is we want to show, yeah, give me that, that tank. This is what we've been doing when we've been buffing, and it's a good way if, when you're buffing, it's really nice to have a helper, especially if he works for, for bagels and coffee <laughs> like that. Okay, so he's got the stuff. I'm using my knee for a pad here. I'm not sure you can see it. A lot of parts, it's very difficult to hold while you're doing them. And you still got the final polish to go on, yep. right? The final? Okay. Yep. Let me get that side. Okay. You gotta do the back one more time. Okay, let's flip it. Side. Now this is one second. Okay, one second. Yeah. This is why it's nice that we're at this point now, but we're not quite there yet. It's it's nice to have the A team. So it's easier if two guys get together and buff something together than if each guy does it individually. It'll take six hours and six hours. If they get together, you can do both of them in a the time of one. And that's what I'm trying to show with this video. How it's coming out nice. Why we love the A team. Okay. Let me <laughs> it looks like you got the uh, shiny. Boy, I ca actually can't stare into the sun because it's no, it, my it hurts your eyes. I know that's beautiful yeah, stuff. It came out nice. That's beautiful stuff. That is beautiful stuff, baby. It's looking good. You have arrived at the pinnacle of bagel making here. There's no doubt about it. All right, so we're done, right? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> my bike's ready to ride. Oh, Where is the, your bike? We got the tank, <laughs> the fairing. Uh, what else? You, you know what I found out over 52 years of doing this, they never do themselves. You got to go down and do it. So let's oh, go down. And the whole reel. Back right? in, back in. Well, this is usually where they cut the show. Oh. And they get the stand-ins to come. Yeah, and yeah. You get get the uh, the actor to jump off right, the you roof. You guys, come on over. Okay, uh, you come buff the plane while we go have some coffee. Back into the black hole in space here. <laughs>